Okay, so um, for your class today, um, we're not going to do anything new. Um, we're going to do the test. Um, so I always said to you that once I finished algebra that we would do a test on patterns and algebra. Um, so the chapters since we've had our last test, so patterns one. So this is all the... Um, Remember linear and common difference, and um, we did all the graphs, and we talked about quadratic and exponential, and um, so yeah, that's patterns one and patterns two, chapter eleven and chapter thirty two, and then the stuff that we've done, I mean, I just about I think had this started, pretty sure we started in school, but like most of this I've done since we left school, and um, so chapter fifteen and chapter sixteen. So in that expressions chapter, you have your evaluating or substitution, um, simplifying, and there's something else in there. Evaluating, simplifying, mm, the third thing. And then your linear equations, that, that whole second chapter is basically what we've been doing. Kind of, I, I did it in five stages, and then the word equations at the end. Um, oh, Expanding brackets is the third thing in expressions. Okay, so those four chapters. So the plan is, um, I've done up one of the revision booklets for patterns and algebra. Um, I've also done a marking scheme or a like the answers basically. So all your answers are here, all the way through. Okay, and um, it gives you the marks, but don't worry about that yet. Um, so the plan here is today is Monday, and. Um, the exam is going to be on Friday. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I did this with the um, second years and it worked quite well. Um, it's, I suppose it's kind of up to you how seriously you take it. Um, we can't do an exam under regular circumstances. It just won't work. I mean, they do have kind of an exam thing on um, Schoology, but it doesn't work for maths. Um, so yeah, we need to kind of, this worked well when I did the second year maths exam. So this is what we're going to do. So I'm going to post the exam on Friday morning um, at 10, 10 o'clock as if it's your work for the day. And you need to submit that to me by your next class, which is Monday. Okay, the exam is an hour long. So you have to, you study, you've got this week. Um, and obviously then if you choose to do the exam on Friday, that's fine. Do it on Friday, submit it. But you can study Friday, Saturday and submit it on Sunday. That's fine too. I don't care once I have it by half nine on Monday morning. Um, the exam is an hour. The idea is obviously you do it under exam conditions. So you study and um, do this booklet. Ask me whatever questions. I'm not going to give you new work on Wednesday. Um, so I won't get in touch with you unless you get in touch with me. Um, go through the booklet obviously the booklet alone is not enough you will have to do some learning off making sure you know like what is a linear pattern what is a quadratic pattern how do i expand brackets etc all those little rules all that stuff needs to be learned and um, and then once i i put the exam up at half nine on friday and um, you will have until monday to complete that exam okay and um, like of course you can look up absolutely every answer and cheat. Of course you can, but it's not going to be a fair reflection. So like I said, I am I mean, I'm giving you the kind of autonomy here that I would never give to first years, but we're in, you know, it, things are different and we just have to do it the way we have to do it. And um, so what I would like you to do is pick a time over the weekend, um, Friday, Saturday or Sunday, give yourself an hour, close all your books and do the exam. When the hour is up, whether you're finished or not, just like if we were in class, close the test. On Monday morning, um, I will go through the exams, as in make sure that they've been submitted. Um, and then what I'll do is I will post a video of me marking it. Okay, as in going through, if this is what you write, I would give you 10 marks. If you only wrote this, I would give you eight marks and so on and so forth. So I'll post this, the marking scheme and I'll also post me going through the marking scheme. Okay, and then I want you to mark your exam. So that will be Monday's work, marking your exam and submit your mark to me. Okay, so 
Summary. Today is Monday, you have the booklet. So you have Monday's class, Wednesday's class, and if you want Friday's class to go through this booklet. I'm giving you the questions in the booklet and I'm also giving you the answers to the booklet. If you don't understand an answer, make sure you get on to me. At half nine on, or 10 o'clock, sorry, on Friday morning, I will put up the exam. The exam will be there for the weekend. It is an hour long exam. What I want you to do is at some point over the weekend, close all books, close everything as if we're in school and do the exam under proper circumstances. That's gonna take discipline, but you're much better off doing it that way than cheating, essentially. And um, so I would prefer that you did it that way. On Monday morning, um, it needs to be submitted like a bit of homework by half nine on Monday morning, your test. Um, by 10 o'clock on Monday morning, I will send you a video going through the marking scheme as well as a copy of the marking scheme. You then have Monday's class or whenever you choose to do it to mark your exam. And by Wednesday morning, you need to submit me your mark. All right, so that's the plan. So you have a week to get that exam into me this day next week, that exam is due essentially, but it won't be posted until Friday morning. Okay, let me know if there's any issues with the booklet. Good luck.